Asalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Karibuni tena watazamaji wangu wapendwa. Leo tutafanya swali la linear motion question 21. Tutaendelea bado na ile paper 2. So kindly if you don't want to miss out most of the, my videos, subscribe to the channel so that hata ukiingia pale kwa search button utaona max nyingi na Arabic sessions nyingi. So the question says two friends Jen and Bob Okay, live 40 kilometer apart. So if you want, you can draw the line to show Jane and Bob. So let's say this is Bob and this is where Jane lives. Yeah. So one day Jane left her house at 9 a.m. So she left her house at 9 a.m. Okay. And cycled towards Bob's house at an average speed of 15 kilometers per hour. Okay, and at an average speed of 15 km per hour, Bob left his house at 10.30 a.m. So, I'll talk about it 10.30 a.m. And also cycled uh, on the same day and cycled towards Jens at an average speed of 25 km per hour. So, so moja alienda kwa Bob na mwingine alienda kwa Jen. Yani, so, they went uh, different directions. They don't go to the same direction. So determine, uh, question A, determine, Roman 1, a distance from Jane's house to where the two friends met. So, so before determining, yani wa umeuliza distance from Jane's house, kutoka Jane, paka walipo kutana, tujua ni kutana wapi. So this one, this is a very simple question. Mo hii swali sana sana, lazima ujua relative distance yako. Lazima ujua relative, ti uh, relative uh, time yako, uh, sorry, relative distance and relative speed yako. Relative distance ndo hile distance apart, yani distance, the relative distance in which they could likely to meet. Yani ni hile distance ambayo ya wakatumia kukalkulate pali ambapo watakutana. So, so Jen aliondo kama pema. Siyo? Jen aliondo kama pema. So first, you have to find distance, okay, distance taken by Jen, so, by Jen at 10.30 a.m. So lazima Jen atakuwa ame, ame, and ame cover some distance. And you always know your distance equal to your speed times time. So ata ukichora ile, distance upper speed, so distance equal to speed times time, okay. So you have to know your to find out your distance na kutafuta hiyo distance ni rahisi speed ya hiyo ya gen kwa sababu walikuwa ame cycle ni 15 km per hour times time time ni waona masaa mangapi wamepishana huyu kabla ametoka 10:30 wametoka saa 3:00 so in 1 hour 30 minutes atakuwa gen amesha ame cover distance so times 1 and a half hours so 15 times one and a half hours, if you just take your calculator, 15 times 1.5 gives you 22.5 kilometers. So we first, then after getting that, we need to find out distance apart. So I'm a relative distance yet. The relative distance is given by 40 minus 22.5 which is equivalent to, which is 40 minus 22.5 is equivalent to 17.5 kilometers. Okay? And then we find relative speed. Okay? In which your relative speed is equal to, you add the relative speed, kwa sababu moja enda ya toka hapa, mingine ya toka hapa. So, Moja ya toka enda njia tafauti, mingine pia enda njia tafauti. Wakienda against each other, then you just add the speed, ambo ni 25 plus 15. Therefore, you get around 40 kilometers per hour. So, after getting the speed, wadu usha pata relative speed na relative distance yako, kitu ambo ya bakia ni time taken for them to meet. Okay, time taken to meet which is e e very easy. So time taken to meet, wachukua sasa, speed, yeah, relative speed, na hii distance. So time is given by ta this relative distance over relative speed. 
So your 17.5 divided by your 40. So 17.5 divided by 40 is equal to 0 0.4375, which is okay. Kako fraction, it around not uh, after same fraction. Okay, kako fraction, it around 7 over 16, if I'm correct. Okay, 7 over 16 hours. Okay, 7 over 16 hours. Like in easy answer. Your answer, sasa, should be this. So after getting this, kumbuka, the, your distance from Jen, Jen alikuwa shakava around 22.5 kilometers. And you have to find the distance pia ambaya meongeza to meet up with Bob. So 22.5 plus you are the other distance and the other distance given by speed times time. The speed for Jen is 15 times the time they took to meet. So yeah, like in time you answer 1030. So times 7 over 16. So if you take 15 over 15 times 7 over 16, so it up around 6.5625 plus 22.5. The answer should give you 29.0625. So this is your answer. So this is your answer and you got your four marks. So I hope, I hope I'm shyly up. So question uh, Roman 2, the time they met. So the time they met. The time they met also is very easy. Raisi sana. Mwanzo. It's very easy to, to get that. So Mwanzo, watch kwa ile 10.30. Kwa sababu hiyo ndo time ambapo. Wote yani, tochukua ile time, standard time. Usichukua ile 9, kwa sabu, haitumiki. Wachukua ile 10.30, ok? Plus ile 7 over 16 hours. So 10.30 plus 7 over 16 hours. 7 over 16 hours, ukibalisha into minutes. Utapata ni, itakuwa kama 26 minutes and 15 seconds. So it's around 26 minutes and 15 seconds. Just take 10.30 plus here 26.15. We'll tap at the answer 10.56 and 15 seconds. I'm at 10.56, 15 seconds a.m. So, tired here, Pia, in two marks is a word. Right. Roman 3, how far from Bob's house when they met? So, also, this is very easy. Kumbuka, from Jen's house, it will 22.5. Plus here 15 times 7 over 16. So it will cover 29.0625. But from Bob's house, it will be total distance and bound 40. We subtract na 29.0625. It will be this remaining distance. So you just take 40 minus 29.0625, which is equivalent to. So just take 40 minus 29.0625 which is equivalent to 10.9375 kilometer. If you want to make it into four days a uh, significant figure, then it should be around 10.94 kilometer. Whichever answer, but still correct. Two marks there. Uh, to end it. Uh, question B, the two friends took 10 minutes at the meeting point and cycled to Bob's house at an average speed of 12 kilometer per hour. So find the time they arrived at Bob's house. So, so alipokutana, the time they used, uh, the time they met, ilikuwa ni 10.56, obviously okay, majua, ni 10.56 and 15 seconds, ni 10.56 and 15 seconds. Sasa kumbuka, walipokutana, baada ya shakutana, waka rest pale, they took 10 minutes, and then they went at an average speed of 12 km per hour. So the remaining distance Ambali remain, ilikwani hiyo 10.9375. But what are we going to do with this 10.9375? I divided by the speed to find the time. And remember time is equal to distance over speed. So nataka kujua hile time ambao wanchukua kukava that journey. So 10.9375 divide by 12. And it gives you around 54 uh, minutes. Okay. It gives you around 54 minutes 
and 41 seconds so after that i just take the time ambapo wametumia kukutana na 10:56 okay 15 seconds wakapumzika for 10 minutes and then wakatumia 54 minutes 41 seconds for the whole journey so this if you add to this it gives you 56 if you take this 56 plus 10 plus 54 it akupa 120 minutes and 120 minutes is around 2 hours so so hapo tandika 00 alafu ile 2 utakari so itakuwa 120056 so hapa answer ni 120056 am so pia ah uh, two marks pia ah uh, nadhani rahisi so is jaona swali rahisi kama hii swali ya ya motion so so i think you've understood uh, this question and don't forget to subscribe until there we've ended with section two so let's wait for another paper inshallah and also there are many session marks session which we are going to do so don't forget to subscribe wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh